What's up everybody, welcome back to the LD World. Today we have a video for you guys. We have a little bit of advice. You didn't say interest. I'm trying not to. We have a little bit of advice for you guys whenever you travel to Barcelona. Some things that you should be aware of. Yeah. So, what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to watch all the way through because at the end of the video, we're going to give you some really solid advice that I think will help a lot of people that's traveling to Barcelona to make their traveling a little bit easier when they want to find out information. So stick all the way to the end so you can see the best one that we have on the list. But you guys know what to do. If you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Ooh. Almost messed up there. Uh, we burped. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the family. We'd love to have you and turn on that notification bell so you can be alerted for whenever we post. Let's get right into it. These are some things that you should be aware of in Barcelona. You need kind to be aware of, of a lot of things. Yes. Kind of things to, it's like a caution, a warning sign. So not all these things are going to be good. None of them are going to be None good. of them are going to be good. <laughs> that is why I keep my wife with me. I was going to call this the L world, but it wouldn't make no sense. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm doing it because the thing's oh going. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah, because yeah. because the thing, the saw is going, and you can hear all the noise outside. So be aware of that in Barcelona. When you're filming, you're not going to get no quietness, especially when you live right in the heart of the city. Yeah. All right. The first thing you should be aware of when you, whenever you move to Barcelona, even visit if you're going to be here for a long term, are the apartment scams. Oh my gosh. There's so many, <laughs> Yes. there's so many sides to that. Like it's both like when you're looking for an apartment, like mm -hmm. on the websites, maybe they'll put like a hotel room and they'll be like, oh, this apartment for 1,000. Yes, they post and, up fake pictures. Yeah, and then they try to have you like pay something in advance. And so don't ever pay anything before seeing the apartment. I saw that, I saw that online. This guy was asking for the agency fee that was way above the amount that he should have been, that they should have paid. And that's another scam that they run. They'll charge tourists or people who aren't from Spain really, really high agency fees. So you gotta make sure you do a lot of your it research. It should be 10%. Just keep that in mind, 10% of the whole. Say year. that again, because I think somebody might have tuned out. How much should it be? <laughs> it's 10% of the whole year, like the rents, the whole year rents. Does that make sense? It doesn't, but 10% yes. of 12 months Yes. Worth yes. of rent. Okay. Yeah. So when you're visiting, or if you're going to be living here, your agency agency fee should not be <laughs> you're higher. You're coming like me. It should not be higher than ten percent. Don't <laughs> let them scam you. Don't let them tell you anything else. If they do, just leave. Yeah. Also, when you're in communication with the person, if they ask for your personal information, either through email or text. The weird, that happened to me. He was asking me for my passport number, mm -hmm. like before I even went to see the apartment. I was like, before you even met the person, why do you need? Why do you need this information? Like, there's so. And then what much did he say he needed it for? To book an appointment to see the apartment. I was like, tell me if that makes sense. No. You, in order to see an apartment, you need a passport, my passport number. Passport number. No. But then there's another thing is like, so the, <laughs> when you actually get the apartment mm -hmm. or you're about to sign the contract, that's another thing. You have to be careful with the contract because they can be sketchy. Yes. And they can like, you know, they, they don't want to like fix things in the apartment that they should fix. Mm -hmm. Like that could be in the contract and make sure you take photos of the apartment. Take photos of the apartment. Try to get a Spanish speaking person to read over your contract. Yeah, or you if have you can find to. a lawyer or something to read over your contract, do that too, because they bank off of that. Yeah. They they try to make sure they're like, oh, you finally found something nice you've been looking for a long time. Just sign here. Everything's yeah. going to be okay. No, be and careful. And also, when you leave the apartment, this is the last, the last thing. No, about let it. them know. They need to be aware. You need to know. <laughs> the last thing. This hasn't happened to me. Luckily, when I have been renting, I've had really good landlords. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's really common here. But um, when you leave the apartment, sometimes they just don't give you the de deposit back. And I've heard that most people just don't pay the the last month or the last two oh, months to make sure they get to make back. sure no 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 oh, they okay. just don't pay and then they just like that's the the deposit oh like okay. that's the same yep. amount of deposit that 
you're actually yeah. not paying. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does make sense. So, it does make sense. That's the first time you've ever made sense, but go ahead. It's not like, it's not a good thing to do that, like not pay the rent, but you're leaving anyway and you never know what they're going to do. Like yeah. people have, yeah, had issues yeah. and it's just, and they actually can't do anything about it if you don't pay, like because you're leaving anyway. Just be You got to learn how to work the system because the system, there's a lot of great things about living in the city. Trust me, we moved here. But there's also some things that you just got to be careful for, especially when you live here because there's a whole bunch of scams. A whole bunch of scams. The next one, we're going to keep it related to the apartments. Be careful for, I see this all the time. This even happened to you. Apartment theft. People coming to your apartment, breaking down the doors and stealing stuff. And they break down like the whole, yes. the whole door. They break it, they, for real. But tell them the signs that they should be aware of for apartment theft. For example, one sign is they might, if you have a rug outside of your apartment, they have, they'll move it a certain way. Yeah, they'll move the mat. They will, they will like scrape things into the door mm -hmm. or like symbols. Like a, like symbols. There's symbols that they have where they scrape into the door to let to let other thieves know that this woman this, lives alone. This they have woman a, has dog, a dog. So on and so forth. We had a whole paper when we walk in to show us what the symbols are for us to look at it. Yeah. For our door. And this is like... It, the building is like warning us like mm -hmm. they actually aren't doing it here. And our building's pretty safe. Yeah. Especially for living right in the middle of downtown. Yeah. But there's always someone trying to get into the, always, the hallway. Always. Or like the staircase. And that's another thing. But, they'll call you. Yeah. Another sign is they'll pretend to be the postman. What do they say? Correos. <laughs> and if you're like me and you want to act like you know Spanish, you'll be like, hola. They'd be like, ah, oh, see, see, and I press the button. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is since we work at home so much, we know when the postman actually comes, when yeah. he doesn't. So if and we're starting to know who is our postman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so there's a lot of people. They'll fake to be the postman. They'll fake to be your internet provider. They'll fake a lot of different things just to get into the building. Yeah. And then go on and do what they want. But another them. thing that is good to keep in mind, this isn't like a sign, but another thing that's good to keep in mind is if you're having someone visiting you and they're bringing suitcases and luggages upstairs, they will come oh, they for watch you. watch for that. That's when, that's when they broke into my place. When my mom came, when my sister came, they all had like a lot of <laughs> suitcases. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a coincidence that whenever we all left somebody broke in someone broke in and they watch even on our street they have people standing down we saw a guy case walk around our building three times and we followed him to where he left but they'll watch you the red hoodie yeah red no, hoodie red vest. We'll, call, we'll call him red hood no it was the vest yeah but red hood sounds better the red, red vest? vest we'll call him marty mcfly who's that back to the future you always wear red vest i don't know but yeah, we, we actually we actually didn't go to the beach that day because mm -hmm. the guy, there were three guys that were just walking around in circles mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were like, we're not going to go because they're trying to get in. They actually didn't go into the hallway because I came walking down with the people. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's another thing they do, especially for single people or people who live alone. They'll follow you into the building pretending like they live there. So even if somebody lives there or not, I wouldn't let anybody in behind you. We always make sure our door is closed because you just never know. You just never know. Yeah, and they actually follow you. Like the first time, the first year that I moved here, I remember I went from the beach to Plaza España where I used to live. It's far. It's really far. And I was walking and this guy was, I, I told you this, he yeah. was biking and he, he followed me the whole way. I don't know if he was, it was about something else. Like, I don't know, but he was really sketchy. It happened the other day when you were walking Rudy to another girl. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then you walked down there with the dog and he left. Yeah. So it's I, real. I was making sure the girl made it yeah. home. It's real, like, like they won't harm you, but they will rob you. Yeah. It's, it's real. That's why we want to let you guys know because there's a lot of videos on the internet talking about all the good things about Barcelona, but you should also be aware of the things that actually go on behind the scenes. Yeah. So this is mainly for the tourists. 
A lot of tours, when they come to Barcelona, they rent out Airbnbs. And you have to be careful with Airbnbs because there's a lot of Airbnb hosts who work with thieves and they let people into your apartment and steal stuff. It happened to people that I know that came and visited Barcelona and it happens all the time. They'll post up fake pictures. They'll do all kinds of stuff just to come in and take your stuff out of the Airbnb. And it's not even like fake pictures. It's like you can, you can rent in an Airbnb and be fine, mm -hmm. but because Barcelona is that type of place that people will actually rent the place, take the keys, mm -hmm. go make a copy, copy of, of the, the key, key, and then yep. they go will in. get into the apartment next time some tourists are in it's there. It's crazy. Like it's actually happening a lot yes. and it's, it's, yeah, maybe I would say like, look for an Airbnb that has a whole cameras, bunch of ratings. Cameras, oh, oh, like yeah. security cameras, because even the rating, like high rating ones, it that's probably that's a true. perfect one to target. That's true. So, it's, so what you would do, look for look for an Airbnb. <laughs> you always do that when you mess up. Because <laughs> I try to make my mess ups funny. Okay. It's like when you fall and you laugh before other people laugh at you. Yeah, no, you know I know I do saying? that. Yeah. So look for an Airbnb with a bunch of reviews. Yeah. Message the host and ask questions. Yeah. Ask always ask questions because a lot of people be like, oh, there's a bunch of reviews. Yeah. I'm just gonna book it. Nah, bro. You know, and, book also, it and, and also just to be safe, like don't leave stuff at home. Yeah, important stuff. Take yeah. it with you. Yeah. Take it with you. It's better. It's better to get robbed out in the streets than to come back home and be like everything is gone. <laughs> yeah. Because you won't you won't get robbed out in the streets, especially if you're careful. That's just being real. Yeah, if you are careful. You really won't. There's a lot of people, when they do get robbed, they're not careful. They leave their phone in their back pocket, or this, or that, or they leave their backpack unattended. Like, okay, I'm asking to get robbed if I do that. Yeah. But if you're smart when you're out there, you won't get robbed out in the streets. It's more likely to happen in your place, especially something like an Airbnb in the middle of the city. Yeah. Outside of the city, I think, you're, I think most of the time you're fine. But wherever you go, just be careful with that. Yeah. We have a beach. Here in Barcelona. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> we have a beach. <laughs> a lot of people come here just for the beach, mm -hmm. and you need to be careful at the beach. Because when you go to the beach, you're usually like sunbathing, you're not really looking. It's around. a time to relax. You go into the sea, you no. don't ever do that. <laughs> it's, yeah, they're, the guys, the people, it might be some women. I've seen it. Same. Yeah. But we the, say guys like in a general term, not yeah. the males. I'll use people. These people that are stealing, they're all over the beach. Like all really over are. the beach. Even in winter when we there were not many there, tourists, we, were we went to the out, beach. And this guy came and sat down in front of us, was watching us the whole time when we were working out because we had our phone out. We we're following the video, working out on the beach. And yeah. I can see him. We're making eye contact. And I'm like, bro, what are you... What? I, I literally couldn't work out. Like, because I, I just saw him there. And then there was another one that came. And he went and he, like, circled us. He went and circled. And, like, I was like, yeah. you guys are... Like, it's so obvious. It's obvious. But maybe, like, if you didn't know that, like, if we weren't aware of it, he probably could have snatched the phone. They'll the do first it quick. One. Even if you're looking at your phone, they'll snatch it super quick. It... it and I will never drop my guard again. We were at Bunkers <laughs> and this guy was selling drinks and stuff. And I was like, look at me out there doing that real hustle. I felt bad. I was like, so on and so forth. So we went and filmed a video for Instagram. Go ahead, check out Instagram. It was a little shout out to the LD World Instagram. Anyways, we went and filmed a video for Instagram and this guy was walking up towards the phone. Dua saw it. I dropped my guard and he stood there and he was gonna jack our phone and tripod. And then the police came and this guy took off running. And I was just like, I didn't think that that was a guy. Yeah, because who was we were looking, we were looking at the view when the camera was behind us, so mm -hmm. we went. But I saw him like because I'm, I'm really, yeah. Say no, no, I don't know. How say I'm peripherals. Peripherals. Good job. Dang. Really. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I look at everyone Shit. sketchy. Yes. Like I think, yeah. So those people who are walking around in a full in jeans and sweatshirts on the beach. 
and they have on sneakers and then those people who are selling you stuff they're like what is a vase of beer all kinds of stuff watch out for those people because they will jack it and they work in a little group of other people and they're just they're just out there ready basically yeah and, and also just everywhere in barcelona like just everywhere and don't rely on the police here no, they would do. They would snatch your phone in front of the in police. In front of the police, because there's always police on the beach in Barcelona, but they won't do anything. They won't arrest them if it's under what four hundred euros. Which so most they can rob. Now are like mm -hmm. maybe not the newest ones, but they can rob you up to four hundred euros and not even get in trouble. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Actually, that was my next point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was our next point that police is, they're not very helpful here. They don't care. Mm -hmm. It's the weirdest thing, but then they will fine you for if not you having, them, if like you, having headphones in your ear when you're running. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll pull you over and be like, whoa, 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 we have a huge problem here. <laughs> but if somebody robs somebody, they won't do nothing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's If you get robbed, problem. let's just say you carry a knife on you, you want to prevent robbery. If you pull out a knife, and I think this happens anywhere, not just Barcelona, but like try to defend yourself, you'll probably get in trouble more than the thief would. Yeah. But I don't think that's just Barcelona. But I'm just, be aware, the police aren't really going to do anything to help. Even if they break into your apartment, they'll just be like, well, you but, know. Yeah, yeah, they won't do <laughs> I, anything. I suggest another lock. Mm. But one thing I will, my one advice that I would recommend is, Whenever, if someone snatches your phone mm -hmm. and you you saw them, like they're running away, like chase yell, them. no, yell, yeah, chase them, chase them, but yell, like mm -hmm. the police was right there when they did it to my friend, but they didn't do anything. But when I started yelling, like, can someone help me? Like, they were like, the oh, people, we gotta work. Everyone started looking, and that's why he threw the phone away. Yeah. Like, I think when. Because people will help start, you. Yeah. People will help you. If, you. if you yell, like, don't just be like, oh my gosh, I got to know, but yell. Like someone I need down help. there I need will help. stop the guy yeah. if, if they can hear that he's running away. Mm -hmm. People will help. That's that's a cool thing. You know, people in Barcelona, they gather together, man. Yeah, but the police is like... Police is like, you know, <laughs> I'm working by the clock. I'm just trying to put in these yeah. hours. Oh. 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 <laughs> This one, I didn't even know until recently. Mm -hmm. So in the smaller store, so obviously not in the- restaurants. Yeah, but obviously not like the bigger ones, but a lot of the stores here are small, independent owned. Mm -hmm. They can do whatever they want. So just make sure that when you're paying and it doesn't go through, that it actually didn't go through. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they will tell you that it didn't go through, and but it actually went through mm -hmm. and they will charge you again. Yeah. People were actually warning people in the Barcelona group about this. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, like, maybe it has happened to me. Like, I don't know. So if they say it doesn't go through, like, look at the card Just, reader and see what happens. Most of the time, you'll see the little receipt come out. But, and then make sure, also, they'll charge you the wrong price. Yeah, make sure they... So pay attention to there. the price. Look at what they type in on the card reader. And then be like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, it's not rude. Like, you have to, you got to watch it back here. Yeah. You gotta watch your back here. So, I'm glad you guys waited to the end of the video. The best advice that we can give you, um, this is something positive. I didn't know this until Dua told me, but before you come to Barcelona, go on Facebook, and there are so many Facebook groups on Barcelona that you can join. You can join Barcelona expats, Barcelona. That's the best group. It, is, it has <laughs> groups for everybody in Barcelona. You can meet friends, you can, um, there's people who host game nights. They'll people, tell you how to get your residency. Yes, they'll they tell you. <laughs> they have lawyers on there that'll be like, contact me. They'll tell you places to go to find an apartment. It's called, what's it called? Barcelona Expat. You'll put it on the screen. Yeah. So join that group. If you're, if you're traveling alone, you can meet up with people. It, it might be kind of, that's kind of a safe group, but be careful with that, meeting up with people alone. But there's, we just met, we just met friends from there um, just last weekend. Yeah. So I, I I love going to the movies. I didn't know what movie theater to go to. Type it in the group. Tons of people are like, this place speaks English. This place speaks English. So on and so forth. Any question you have about Barcelona, they will answer it in that group. And yeah. people just kind of band together and just kind of help keep people aware, keep people safe, keep people entertained, all kinds of things. So definitely check out that group before your travels and especially join it 
if you're gonna move to Barcelona for a long time. Yeah. I actually just thought of another one. Well, go ahead, let them know. No. Now I gotta say my good news so after. This, this is another, no. <laughs> this is another one that um, if something, if some of your stuff gets stolen or mm -hmm. like robbed, a lot of people say that they take your bag, like they snatch it, mm -hmm. but they actually throw it back into a bush. Oh, so it might be somewhere by. close by. So they take the money and everything, but your dog, like if you have your passport or your driver license or something in there, mm -hmm. like people f find their bags somewhere around yeah, in somewhere the trash around. cans, like somewhere around where you got robbed. The bag on, yeah. yeah. So they will they will open it quickly, take, take the money, and then just throw it. So mm -hmm. like look around where you got robbed. <laughs> That's good advice. That's good advice. So Barcelona is a great place. There's things that you need to be aware of. We're not gonna we're not bashing Barcelona by all means. Otherwise, we would have never moved here. But I feel like it's the to... best place ever when you're just careful. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. That's why we're putting this video out there. So. If you like the video or have any suggestions, comments, or anything, go ahead and comment down below. Do it keeps putting up the thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the family. We'd love to have you. Turn on that notification bell. We post Monday through Friday. Everybody's in different locations, so you do want to be alerted at the time that we do post. And that's all we got for today. We'll see you later, dudes.